So, y'all, I was literally on my way to bed, clearly, for work, because I got to wake up in a, in a few hours. But, um, you know, I just felt inspired, and um, <laughs> I've been meaning to get this video out to you guys anyway, but, um, yeah. Let's, let's just take a quick listen. Hopefully, YouTube don't copyright the kids. I just want you guys to take a quick listen of this song here. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. That's enough. Who was that, might you add? That was our dear Countess Vaughn. Countess Vaughn. In 1992, she had a song out. Um, and I think she actually put out an album um, early 90s. I could be wrong, but y'all let me know in the comments. I Googled it, and I do see like an album cover. And, you know, I do see on Amazon that, you know, you can pay for it. So I guess she actually did have a co uh, album cover. I mean, a, an actual album. So, you know, kudos to Countess. But my God, how things have changed. But anyway, the name of that um, song was called Wait For Me. It came out in 1992. And, um, child, like I said, my have things have changed. Um... I just can't even, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Um, okay, now we hear that. Let's hear a little bit more. Beautiful voice, strong pipes. Countess could always sing. We're first just going to start with the positives. Countess could always sing, and Countess can sing. Um, you know, just great voice, strong vocals. Actually stronger than Brandy's. Okay, but we're going to go back really quick. Let's hear a little bit of this. Countess today. Don't walk away from me. You can explain yourself and why you're trying to break up my family. Do you love it? Well, so you need to turn around. Say goodbye. How about <laughs> you think you the shit, well I'm the big shit, don't you understand? Oh, you might have heard about me. Oh. Tragic, tragic, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Hopefully YouTube don't strike the kids. Okay, um... I don't even know where the hell to start. First of all, I will give it to Lisa Wu because Lisa Wu did um, the fact that the video didn't have a budget. She did kind of work it out. The video actually looked decent. Now, the 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 clip that I just played, y'all, um, that was from the actual music video. Y'all know the the video got leaked and it was the first version where it was just absolutely horrid. Um, and there's not that big of a difference with this version, except the fact that the quality is a little better and um, the looks are a little bit better. And, and they have that one scene where she's walking to the window looking all discombobulated um, and looking out the window, whatever. But, you know, there's really not that much of a difference with the video, except for what I just said. But also the the... It's just mainly the quality because the vocals are the same. Like she's out of breath. She sounds tired. Like it sounds like she just needs to 
just um, go to the dollar store and just rack up on honey flavor cough drops. It's just, I don't know. But one thing I will say is that I, I admire her for still wanting to accomplish her dreams, even though she has a health issue. I do want, I do admire her on that. And just going off topic for a little bit. Y'all know how on Hollywood Divas, they always like, well, golden mainly, but you know, they always like give it to Countess, go in on Countess. Um, why is Countess' husband or boyfriend ain't never there to support her? Do y'all get that? Like Countess has been in a relationship a long time, but her man ain't never there in the audience to support her at the at these reunions. Forest Fire sh ass sure is there for Big Mouth Paula. So why isn't Countess man there? I don't know. Y'all tell me about that in the comments. But the video is the full. She's just making crazy faces in the damn camera. Um, I guess this bonnet I have on is appropriate because she had on a bonnet. And if I let my hair down, I, I have twists in. She had uh, braids in. So I guess, hey, this fits the video. I might as well should have been in the video doing this. Um, the fool. I don't know why they had those close-up shots on Countess' face and she's just making crazy faces. It's, I don't know why the, certain parts of the video is in slow motion. It's very weird. Um, they didn't need to be in slow motion. Michael from Blood, Sweat, and Heels, they got her looking old. Well, you know, maybe it's just whatever. Um, the best looking thing about the video is Jensen Atwood. So, shouts out to um, Wade. Wade? Yes, I hope they bring Noah's Ark back. It was just really hard to watch. It was just really embarrassing. Like, it's time to go back to the drawing board contest. Um, her vo who hooked up her, her vocals in the studio? They did a horrible job. Where all these girls out here that's successful, they can't really sing. They don't really have any vocal talent. And they sound amazing over the radio or amazing on the album. They could hook Countess up knowing that she actually really has like a health issue as to why she can't sing the way she used to. Whoever hooked up your studios, Countess, fire them, girl. And, you know, if, if Lisa Wu had a, a cuter budget with more things to work with, I think Lisa actually could have rocked this video a little better. But she did it, you know, as, as a favorite of a friend. So, you know, there's no shade to Lisa Wu. Um, I wonder how the video would have looked if Paula, Jay Parker, would have did the video. Who's to say? But Kim, but don't listen, but um, Kim Parker's team, don't listen to her ass no more. Because uh, the concept was the fool. And, my God. Those vocals. I just can't even... How do you put that out? Like, I, I don't... I don't have any words. Like, I really don't. The fool. But, um... Anyway, moving on from that. And thank y'all for watching Hollywood Divas with me, by the way. Um, really, really appreciate that. Um, that was a fun show, and if it comes, hopefully it comes back. But um, I just want to switch topics really quick. I want to talk about basketball wise really quick. I wasn't able to do a review on it. Um, of last week's episode, I don't think, but um, I did see on YouTube the clips from um Jackie Christie acting a fool. Um, I don't know what the hell is Jackie Christie on. Um. But it's some serious shit. Like, from my understanding, from watching the, the three video clips of um of Basketball Wise, where they actually show everything that went down between her and Angel Love at Angel Brink's party, um, from what I can see, I didn't see anything and, and from and from watching other videos from vloggers, I did not see where Angel Love disrespected Jackie or deserved the treatment that that um that she got like I, I really don't understand that jackie literally went off on that girl she was talking calmly then all of a sudden she like i believe like she told angel to leave and then angel left and then she came back because she was just like no i'm here for my friend angel brinks who was nowhere in sight not like she would have been any help not like she wants to fight or can fight 
Um, but I'm just saying, like, Angel Brinks was nowhere in sight. Um, and literally, like, Jackie just starts going off on Angel Love and Malaysia in her blonde wig. Um, she, you know, holds um, Angel Love back. Um, and she's just like, you know, y'all need to chill, yada, yada. Then all of a sudden, here comes Sunday Carter from past seasons, that trash bag. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> just the fool. Like, why are you back Sunday looking for camera time? It's so sad. And, and Sunday's trying to fight Angel Love. Then they have this big Amazon tranny looking thing um, with all these gaps in her mouth like Paula J. Parker. She's trying to fight Angel Love. I think I saw actually, um, who did I see? I think I saw Brooke Bailey. Um, I was going to say Brooke Valentine. It's about to be a what? Girl fight? Come outside. But um, Brooke Bailey, I think her name is Brooke Bailey. But anyway, Brooke, a real tall, pretty chocolate girl from past seasons who's on there with the Govan sisters. Um, but anyway, I think I saw her and Jackie's entourage. It was like, she wasn't trying to fight Angel, though. But it was like three or four girls trying to fight Angel, including Sunday Carter, the Amazon, and um, Jackie, of course. And it was just a fool. And Sunday running after her and shit. And I'm like, what do you have to do? I can't stand that. That is one of my biggest pet peeves for, to jump somebody. I cannot stand that. I, I hate that so much. You don't jump people. You just don't. Especially if that person ain't done shit to you. She ain't even do nothing to Jackie. So why are you um showing out Tuesday? Like, I don't understand that. Um, They follow the girl outside. Tammy ass outside smoking a cigarette. Um... And, you know, she's just like, what the hell is happening? She see Angel Love getting it, you know, on the good foot, just leaving. And um, Angel Love explained that Jackie is crazy as shit and all these girls trying to fight me. Jackie ass is in the, in the, um, at the party. She can't breathe in Angel Love's, in Angel Brink's dress. And she had on the old, old disco vintage Donna Summer, um, flight attendant foolishness. Um... She can't breathe. She tumbled over this girl um, who, was, who was working for Angel Brinks. I guess she was the girl that was trying to get the outfits and the models and everything together. She, t she literally stepped over her and ran out there to take the damn dress off. She can't breathe. And Jackie's just showing out. Like, and, and then they get out to the car and Tammy's trying to hold them back and Angel Love gets in the car and Brandy Malaysia's like, look, just drive off. They're trying to fight her. Just craziness. Pure craziness. It's, it's, it's crazy. It really, really is. Like, I don't think Angel Love got mouth and shit and she sometimes say, thing in the wrong, say things at the wrong time and she don't know how to just let things go. As far as with the girls and stuff. But they seem to kind of patch it up a little bit. Somewhat. But um, she don't deserve to get jumped. Nobody deserves to get jumped. Like, and she's such a small, petite girl. Like, they low-key probably mad because she's pretty. She's pretty and she's chocolate and she's sickening. And her hair has been laid since season one. <laughs> her hair has been laid since this is her season one. Of basketball wise. Her hair has been laid since she came on the damn screen. Tammy Roman hair ain't never been laid like that. She looks great. Just such a, such a, such a, such a cute girl. Pretty, gorgeous, Barbie. But, um, and that body is sickening. That waistline is terrible. Uh, meaning good. Uh, I don't know what Jackie's issue is. I can somewhat think that Jackie is... I don't know. She suffers from something. I don't want to call any Ill illnesses out. But she she really has issues. She really does. Um, I remember in the past on Basketball Wives, Jackie Christie, Christy, she has two daughters. Um, one daughter, her young, younger daughter had an issue with Drea and this and that. And, you know, that's why Jackie and Drea was getting into it. Apparently, she slept with Drea's man at the time, whatever. And then she has another daughter. 
One of her daughters is lighter skin. The other daughter is dark skin or her complexion. Um, and she's always just been more so. She play favorites. She more so favors the lighter skin daughter over the darker skin daughter. If y'all watch Basketball Wise in the past, y'all know what I'm talking about with um, Jackie Jacqueline. Um, and so maybe she has like some colorism issues or, you know, I mean, her husband's light as hell. Um, so I don't know. Jackie just has, it's just check, 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 check. You know, remember on, um, on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunion, when they was talking about Jocelyn, it was, it was Nina, the, the, um, host, and then it was Carly and it was, Mimi, and they was talking, and it was just like, oh, well, she needs to be in a clinic, yada, yada. It was just like, well, Nina was like, for what? It was just like, everything, just check it off the list. That's how I feel about Jackie. Just check it off the list. Put her, Jocelyn, who somebody else is just bat shit. Um, maybe Tommy, maybe, I don't know. But her and Jocelyn, for sure, put them in the same clinic so they can be each other's buddies. Because it's just really just the fool and ridiculous. Um, there's really no need to review the whole episode of the, of the Basketball Wives. Um, of the episode I'm referring to. Because it's just the main thing that happened anyway. Everything else was the fool. Um, but, you know, we're all just excited to see that Duffy and Tammy fight. I wish you hurry the hell up. But um, with that said, um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um... And I just wanted to come on here and just talk about those two things. Um, I'm Mr. Chilaki. Mr. Chilaki on YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel, please. Like, comment. Follow me on Google+. Plus. Chase King was here on Facebook. Um, at Is King's World on Twitter and Instagram. Um, at Is King's World 89 on Snapchat. All right. I'll see you guys later. Just the fool. And um, as far as Rocks would say, uh, full of fucking niggatry. That's all I have to say. A mess. With a little bit of real mental illness, I feel. Bye.